Now, if you don't know what a DC sync attack is, essentially we say, hey, we're a domain controller as well, and we need to synchronize all of our hashes, all of our users. You need to give me all of your users and your hashes. And once we do that, we can get the hash for the KRB TGT account or the Kerberosian ticket granting ticket account. If you have the hash for the KRB TGT account, then you can do a golden ticket attack. A golden ticket is a really nasty level of persistence in Active Directory that I've done that actually one time on an internal pen test, I got permission from the client. I was able to find, I think it was a service account that had DC sync privileges. And I was able to use a service account to do a DC sync and then create a golden ticket to demonstrate impact to the client. What's nasty about a golden ticket is even if you change a user's password, I can still authenticate as that user, including all the domain admins. And it's a crazy persistence attack because the only way to nullify a golden ticket attack, I believe, is you have to change the password of the KRB TGT account twice and wait for replication each time. So it's a pretty crazy level of persistence in an AD environment. 